In the world of streaming, content is king. While Disney already has a huge advantage in that regard thanks to massively popular franchises like Star Wars and Marvel, one cannot understate just what a huge win it is for Disney Plus, and for Disney Plus subscribers, to become the exclusive home to Taylor Swift, the era's tour, Taylor's version. Taylor Swift is, quite simply, the biggest star in the world, and as such Disney should be looking to grow this relationship by bringing Taylor Swift into Disneyland and or Walt Disney World, the era's tour movie is the second piece of exclusive Taylor Swift content on Disney Plus, so there is a strong relationship here already. Disney's strength has always been in its ability to leverage its movies to promote its theme parks, and use its theme parks to promote its movies and shows. Taylor Swift has conquered every other avenue she's ever gone down, so the theme park space is the next logical place for her to go, and I see three obvious ways Taylor Swift could become part of Disney parks. The most obvious place to put a music-themed attraction is where there already is one, and it needs to be replaced and redeveloped anyway. The Rock and Roller Coaster starring Aerosmith has been around for almost 25 years. In that time, Aerosmith has only declined in popularity, leading to an endless series of rumors that Aerosmith was going to be replaced by some other band, or at least calls from fans that they should be. On top of that, The Rock and Roller Coaster is currently closed at Disney World, undergoing its second major, multi-month refurbishment in as many years. The Rock and Roller Coaster needs a major refresh, so why not give it new life for a new era? We don't even have to make major changes to the core ride. We call it Getaway Car, from the Taylor Swift song of the same name. We give the ride vehicles a Taylor-appropriate paint job, or even better, replace them with new carriages, and we can even keep the core story of the ride the same. We get Taylor on video welcoming guests to the next show on her tour in a pre-show room before we get in the getaway cars and blast down the track with Taylor's most rockout music playing in our ears. The next place where adding music would be so easy would be in a Disney Parks nighttime spectacular. Fireworks are pretty on their own, but they become something truly special when choreographed to music, with perhaps some projection mapping or water effects. Happily Ever After at Magic Kingdom and Wondrous Journeys at Disneyland are two recent shows that are among the most popular in the history of the parks. We're in a golden age of the nighttime spectacular, and Taylor Swift's music could shine here that we name the show after a line from Long Live, because Kingdom Lights could easily be the name of any nighttime spectacular at a Disney castle park. A near-infinite amount of Taylor Swift music would be lovely set to fireworks or blended with World of Color at Disney California Adventure. The show can still have a Disney touch. Through the use of projection mapping, we could see scenes from various Disney-slash-Pixar movies that mirror moments in the lyrics that we hear, bringing Taylor and Disney together perfectly. Maybe while we're at it, we ask Taylor to cover some classic Disney tunes to be included in the show.